All right, guys, we got to talk about Senator Lindsey Graham. We got to talk about the fallout from obviously the uh, the uh, investigation into Trump, the impeachment, because uh, this has not gone well for the Democrats. It, it really, really hasn't. In fact, if you ever want to know how not to do something, uh, this is probably the best example of how not to impeach a president. So at the end of the day, as you all know, following yesterday's video, they've gone through and they've tried to impeach the president, right? Obviously, it hasn't gone well. Now, the problem is, is that by impeaching or trying to impeach Trump, they've raised a lot of questions in regards to Biden, the Pfizer warrants. They're, they're basically, they've pissed off the Republicans. The Republicans generally are pretty lax when it comes to, to sort of getting back at the Democrats for pulling these sort of stunts. Historically, in the past, they went through and they've sort of gone through and they've not really hit back. Um, they sort of just let bygones be bygones. But it's a new Republican Party and it's very much the party of Trump. And uh, basically, that shit no longer flies. Um, Senator Lindsey Graham now promises Senate will investigate Ukraine whistleblower which we all think we all know who it is, uh, the Bidens and the Pfizer abuses. So after trying to impeach the president and whatnot, they've now gone through, they've pissed off the Republicans and they're going to get hit with all three. Well done. Congratulations. Way not to do something. Well done. Yeah, you, you literally waved a wet flag in front of a bull and now you're going to get absolutely skewered by its horns, aren't you? But Senator Lindsey Graham announced Sunday that the Senate will investigate the Ukraine whistleblower, the Bidens, and the Pfizer warrant abuse following the conclusion of President Donald Trump's impeachment trial. So, um, speaking with Fox News, host Marana Baromo on Sunday morning, and I actually saw this report myself, and when I saw it, I went, oh shit! Graham said the whistleblower should testify before Congress because he wants to understand how all this crap started. The Senate Intelligence Committee under Richard Burr has told us that he will call the whistleblower, Graham said. Why is it important? If the whistleblower is a former employee associated with John Biden or Joe Biden, I think that would be important. If the whistleblower was working with people on Adam Schiff's staff that wanted to take Trump down a year and a half ago, I think that would be important. If Schiff's staff people helped write the complaint... That would be important. And also, you got to remember too, Adam Schiff has also made statements that they haven't done any of that. Now, I'm not sure if he's, uh, if he's sworn on the Bible and, and testified to that, or if that was just in a news statement. But if he's made those stakes and claims in court, then he could get done with me, possibly by jury too. So this could go very, very badly for Adam Schiff and the Democrats. We're going to get to the bottom of all this to make sure this never happens again, Graham vowed. So the Bidens, Graham said, I'm going to bring the State Department officials and ask them, why don't you do something about the obvious conflict of interest Joe Biden had? So he's not actually, from my understanding, he's not actually in control of the Biden situation. He has no jurisdiction there, even the report or when he was talking to her, he actually mentions this. He says that I don't have any direct control. But, at the end of the day, he does obviously have things when it comes to the Pfizer abuse. Actually, here's the video here. We're just going to watch this. Senator from South Carolina. We're going to watch this for about eight minutes, guys, um, because it's actually really important. So, let's jump into it, and uh, let's get stuck watching an ad. Well, but yeah, we're going to go through, we're going to talk about this, guys. We're going to watch this video, because it is important. And it does cover a lot of the stuff. It does mention a lot of things. And a bit of me, instead of me sitting here trying to go through and and basically, you know, summarize it, it's just best just to listen to his exact words. Judiciary Committee. He also sits on the Appropriations, Foreign Relations, and Budget Committees. Senator, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank so you very much. So lay out the next couple of days. Why will the vote to okay. acquit the president be on Wednesday? Why not tomorrow? Well, the Democrats have the ability to drag out the trial. There was an agreement reached to do it Wednesday at 4, allow some Democratic candidates to go to Iowa. I think that had a lot to do with it. But we're going to turn the page on impeachment at 4 o'clock Wednesday. 
All Republicans will vote not guilty. I think we'll pick up a handful of Democrats. I'm glad this trial is coming to end. It's the now, that obviously didn't happen. They didn't pick up any Democrats, as far as I know. And there was one Republican who jumped ship. <laughs> Romney, um, also known as Judas. Closest I ever want to be to being in purgatory, so it's been painful. It's going to end, and we're going to turn the page and deal with the issues important to the American people. And the day of reckoning is coming uh, for congressional and Senate oversight of Joe Biden and the FISA warrant process. <coughs> All right, I want to talk about Joe Biden and the FISA process because you are in a position to really get these people down to speak. But first, let's talk a moment on impeachment. Right. This goes all the way back. Now, obviously, the impeachment stuff we don't really care about, right? Because we know what happened. Yes. Years, we heard it. Just in. Right, so this is roughly where he gets into it. We'll, I'll trim that other part stuff out. Name only. I don't know if they'll ever let it go, but here's what I'm going to do. As they talk to Bolton, I'm going to bring in State Department officials and ask them why didn't you do something about the obvious conflict of interest Joe Biden had? Joe Biden's effort to combat corruption in the Ukraine became a joke. When Joe Biden got before the Ukrainian parliament talking about sweetheart deals and reforming the energy sector, I can only imagine how they were laughing under their breath. What about your son, Vice President Biden, sitting on the most corrupt board in uh, Ukraine, Burisma, receiving $3 million? I can only imagine if a Republican had done what Biden had done. But we're going to get to the bottom of this, and I can prove beyond any doubt that Joe Biden's effort in the Ukraine to root out corruption was undercut because he let his son sit on the board of the most corrupt company in the Ukraine and we're not going to okay. give him a pass on that. So how are you not going to give him a pass? How are you going to get to the bottom of it? Should we expect your committee to call to testify Hunter Biden, uh, the whistleblower, right. Adam Schiff, all of those names you've been talking about? Right. Is this going to happen this upcoming week then? Right. Uh, it's going to happen in the coming coming weeks. Jim Risch is the chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee. Jim, if you're watching the show, I hope you are. We need to call uh, the uh, chief of staff to John Kerry, who was told about the conflict of interest with Hunter Biden being on Burisma's board early on. Uh, Hines, uh, the stepson of John Kerry, was a business partner of Hunter Biden and Devin Archer. And he told the State Department, I'm not part of this deal. I don't think it's right. George Kent told the State Department it would be a conflict for Hunter Biden to be on Burisma's board. Let's start there. Let's call these people in. Eventually, we'll get to Hunter Biden. And I want to know why the Obama administration did, did nothing about this obvious conflict of interest. Joe Biden should have given up the Ukrainian port, portfolio, or Hunter Biden should be taken off the board because they ruined America's ability to effectively deal with corruption in the Ukraine by having Hunter Biden on the board of Burisma. That's just a fact, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. I mean, you even have John Kerry's steps. So there he's talking about actually the, the guy that's actually in charge of this investigation. He's outlaid a reason why they should be involved in this investigation. It's a pretty solid reason. You have Joe Biden going through investigating or supposedly reforming Ukraine because of corruption. And while they're investigating this corruption over in Ukraine, his son is literally on the board of one of the most corrupt companies. So that is a very solid reason why they should be looking into Joe Biden. But like he says, it's not him. It's this other guy that has to deal with that. So... What Senator Graham here can do is he can go through and he can talk about the Pfizer warrant. Son. So, First witness, a, if this were a Republican vice president whose son, oh, Rosen, oh, fabricating Intel things committee. for at least three years. Well, what about Adam Schiff, Senator? I mean, Adam Schiff, we know, has been lying or fabricating Intel things committee. for at least three years. He told us collusion was in plain sight between right. President Trump and the Russians. He told right. us he didn't know who the whistleblower was. He read uh, a parody that he called it, which was uh, not even the, the uh, contents of the phone call between the president and, and the Ukraine leader. I mean, he's saying all of this stuff, and he's not under oath. Will you put him under oath? The House Intel Committee, excuse me, the Senate Intel Committee under Richard Burr has told us that, they, that we will call the whistleblower. Why is it important? I want to find out how all this crap started. So there, he's even admitting that even with the whistleblower, he doesn't have much control over that. Um, that is this Richard Burr bloke.
But let's get to... ...never happens again. Intel, Senate Intel will deal with the whistleblower. Foreign Relations Committee will deal with Joe Biden's conflict of interest. The Judiciary Committee will deal with all things FISA. And let Which me tell him. Republicans out there, you should expect us to do this. If we don't do it, we're letting you down. And I guarantee you, if it were Democrat, if, if there's... So, like I said, I mean, he actually talks about the FISA there, but... I Joe Biden, I think that would be important if, of all of this to make sure this never happens again. Whistle the whistleblower. Why is it important? But anyway, he talks about Pfizer as well, and he's looking into the Pfizer reports as well. So, like I say, this this is a real bad, bad thing for the Democrats, right? The Democrats are, are literally panicking right now because of the situation. They're like, holy shit, not only did we not impeach the president, but we've also opened a whole shit ton of worms, right? We got people looking into Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. We got people looking into Adam Schiff and the whistleblower. And, and then we've also got Senator Lindsey Graham and his guys going after the FISA warrants, right? So this is a real bad run for the Democrats. This is hide in a bunker sort of thing. And hopefully the Republicans will do it. Lindsey Graham there really does make a promise that they will. Hopefully, the, he's right. Now, obviously, the GFC uh, Senate wastes no time investigating Hunter Biden after impeachment uh, acquittal. The Republican chairman of two Senate committees wasted no time after President Donald Trump's impeachment acquitted Wednesday before opening a new era of, in, of inquiry relating to Hunter Biden's for, uh, foreign business activities. Minutes after the Senate uh, voted to qu uh, quit Trump, uh, President Trump, Senator fin uh, Senate Finance Committee Chairman Chuck Grossley, who is obviously the one we were speaking to before, uh, of Iowa and Senate Homeland Security Committee Ron Johnson of Wisconsin released a letter that they sent to the Director of the Secret Service requesting Biden's travel records during the time when his father was Vice President. So obviously they're talking about Hunter there. So they wrote, we're writing to inform you about the, whether Hunter Biden used the government-sponsored travel to help conduct private business. Um, now, they said they wanted records indicating whether the young Biden had Secret Service protective detail while his father, Joe Biden, was in office. They also want records of Hunter Biden's travel when he received any protection. The Republicans forced the inquiry on Hunter Biden's work in China and the Ukraine. Now, this is not, obviously, this is this is something else completely. This is another whole shit ton of worms, right? We're not sure if he's done that or not. They're looking into it. But this is not what the, the main argument of the three things that they're already going after, right? Three things they're already looking into. This is the fourth thing. This is another thing that's going to be on top of the three things already. So they're going to do Hunter with his travel uh, to see if he had Secret Service detail and if he used uh, uh, government expenses for private private for ventures. His dealings with him, uh, Joe Biden, and your Burisma and, and Joe Biden's investigation into corruption. They're going to look into Adam Schiff and the whistleblower, and they're going to look into the Pfizer warrants. There's four things now that the GOP is going after. Do you think maybe you might have paved them off a little bit trying to impeach their president? I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. GOP Treasury sent information on Hunter Biden to expanding GOP Senate inquiry. The Treasury Department has compi uh, complied with re Republican senators' request for highly sensitive and closely held financial records about Hunter Biden and his associates. He's turned over evidence of questionable origin to them. According to the lead Democrat, one of the health committees conducting the investigation, for months while the impeachment controversy raged, powerful committee chairman in the Republican-controlled Senate have been quietly but openly pursuing an inquiry into Hunter Biden's business affairs and the Ukraine officials' alleged intervention in the 2016 election. The same matters that President Trump and his personal lawyer, Rudy, uh, Rudy Giuliani, might be mispronouncing, unsuccessfully tried to coerce Ukraine's government to investigate. So the Ukraine, Trump, and Giuliani, however, Senator Gra uh, Charles Grassley, from obviously from the video earlier, I think that was the name, Chairman of the Finance Committee, Ron Johnson, Chairman of the Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee, and Lindsey Graham, Chairman of the Judiciary Committee, 
have faced their effort, have focused their efforts in Washington, seeking to extend political useful information about agencies of the U.S. government. They've issued letters requesting records from cabinet departments and agencies, including State Department, Treasury, Justice Department, the FBI, the National Archives, and Secret Service. So, Grassley and Johnson have sought to obtain some of the most sensitive and closely held documents of all. This is obviously regarding his travels and whether he had uh, Secret Service and whether or not he had private ventures that were funded by taxpayers. Um, highly confident about, about, uh, agency of Treasury to help police money laundering. Senators requested the Treasury have uh, borne fruit according to the rankings of Democrat senators. Um, apart from that, Trump, uh, Trump also claims full exoneration, but Pelosi, but Nancy Pelosi insists he remains impeached forever. Really? Not, not really, because the Senate's voted no. So no, he doesn't, actually. But anyway, regardless. Um, obviously, look at the end of the day. We knew this was going to be something they were going to try and push. That we knew they were going to try and try and claim he's been impeached forever, even if it was acquitted. But the Republicans have a plan, so the Republicans are planning to expunge Trump's impeachment if they win back the House. Don't know how I feel about this, but I can understand why. The Washington Senate is set to vote on Wednesday, the removal of the office of President Trump. Now, at the end of the day, uh, and other Republicans investigating how Democrats led by Pelosi and Diligence Committee Adam Schiff and the Judiciary Committee Chair Jared Handler pursued their impeachment of Trump could provide a fracturing basis to underpin the expungement efforts. So what they're going to try and claim is that this was a partisan effect, um, that these people obviously uh, had political affiliations or, or their, their partisan view, um, and that the impeachment should never have gone through, that the impeachment should be whitewashed. And I can understand that argument. I really, really can. Um, but, yeah, guys, like I say, a whole bunch of shit has broken down for the Democrats. Um, and this is all because they tried to impeach the president. Congratulations. You royally screwed this one up, haven't you? And, and apart from that, obviously, look, it, it just keeps getting worse for the left. Birds of Prey came out. It was just going to be a video I was going to do before I heard about all this. Birds of Prey has came out. It's flopped at the box office. No one is turning up to the seats. That might be tomorrow's video to see what sort of news comes out. But yeah, like, just everything that could go wrong for the Democrats is going wrong right now. Iowa is a mess. The Iowa caucus is a mess. Um, the huge scandal over the voting, I think we covered that on Tuesday. Um, you know, the app called Shadow, for example... Like, good name to pick an app, I suppose. You know, like Shadow Banning, isn't it? Um, but yeah, the, the app Shadow doesn't seem to be... They, they've already said they're not using it in Nevada. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. And, and whether you like Trump or not, the, everything the Democrats do right now is making him look better. Personally, I think he's doing a pretty good job. But if you're not a fan of Trump, you must be looking at the Democrats and thinking... This is, A, some serious Trump derangement syndrome that's leading them down the path of insanity, which is causing them to be incompetent. Or, B, they're just incompetent. I don't know which one's worse. I really, really don't. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, we'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day. And enjoy it.